I was recently talking with someone who said uh, something to the effect of, I am just now getting back on track with God. I feel like I'm in recovery. And it brought to mind that we are all addicted to things of this world. And we are all, therefore, in recovery. And it brought to mind, what is it that you are addicted to? For uh, many of us, we are addicted to social media or a favorite TV show or video games or spending time uh, with, um, I, I don't I don't know if, I don't want to say spending time with people because uh, I don't want to give you the wrong impression, but we can be addicted to people and maybe spend more time with them than we should, or maybe put them ahead of God. That would be definitely an addiction that would not work. And so I think that we are all in recovery because we are all addicted to something, something that tends to pull us away from doing what God wants us to do. And so it led me to try to find some scripture that would fit this scenario. And I found 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. Paul is talking to Timothy about how Timothy has the strength and the gifts that God has provided to him to do the work that God has called Timothy to do. And Paul says in verse seven of second Timothy chapter one, God gave us his spirit and the spirit does not make us weak and fearful. Instead, the spirit gives us power and love. He helps us control ourselves. I think when we are in recovery from the world, we recognize and focus more on who gives us power and love and strength. And conversely, what drains us from power, love and strength. There are things that are in our lives that drain us of our love and strength that pull us away from God. And those things we need to have less in our lives. And we need to replace those things with God. The spirit does not make us weak and fearful. There are things in this world that make us weak and make us fearful. And you probably know what those things are for you. And so we are not called to have a spirit of fear. But that's not what God provides. Scripture says God provides a spirit of strength and love and the ability to control ourselves. Now, we don't have the ability to control ourselves so that we can do more of the things that the world calls us to do. We have the ability to control ourselves so we do less of what the world calls us to do and more of what God calls us to do. In verse 6, right before this verse, Paul says to Timothy, this is why I remind you to help God's gift grow just as a small spark grows into a fire God put his gift in you. And Paul says, when I, Paul, placed my hands on you, Timothy. So where, what can you do to allow the small spark to grow into a fire, the small spark of the Holy Spirit, to grow into these burning flames of the Spirit so that you have more control because where you have God, you have more control. God gives you the control of less less feelings of weakness, less feelings of fear, and more feelings of power and love. Don't let the world rob you of what God has provided for you. This week, let us try to live with more of the spirit, more of God's control, and walk away from the addiction of the world. Let us all be in recovery together this week. God bless.